Good morning, modern steaders. It's 11 below zero Fahrenheit out this morning. It is a chilly, chilly morning. Just watching where I'm going. I don't want to trip over snow banks. I got a beautiful sunrise this morning. The sky looks so nice, but it's cold. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky. Burn. Normally, when I, oh, you can't see it right now. When I feed the goats, I give them alfalfa pellets or chaff hay. This morning, we're gonna give them some dairy grain for goats. I've been told if you give goats grain, it helps warm them up. So I think this morning they're gonna need as much help as they can get. Good morning. Wow, they drank all that water. <laughs> That's awesome. I gave them a fresh bucket of warm water last night when I locked them up for bed and it is completely gone this morning. I like seeing that. Willow, open the door back up, you silly goat. Willow, you got frost all over your goatee. Yeah, you got frost all over your goatee. My guess is the girls are gonna love this grain. They normally don't get grain. Oh, does that smell good and different? There's something new and different for you. <sighs> Normally I don't even wear gloves. You know it's cold. Whew. We'll sit on them, keep our butt warm. She's got frost on her coat. Do you like that little bit of grain you got? That'll help warm you up today. Is it good, Willow? I'd love to see how they sleep. Blossom right there has a little bit of um, frost on her fur. I don't see any frost on Buttercup. And then Willow had some frost right here. I don't know if you can see it, I can feel it still. I'm wondering if they're sleeping next to each other and that's like where one of the other goats' heads wide and it was breathing and making frost and the same thing on Blossom. Alright girls, stay warm. I'll be out later to open the barn door up when it warms up. Stay warm. Do you want to go outside and feed the chickens or are you enjoying it in front of the wood stove? You wanna go out? You staying in? What's that mean? When the snow's squeaking like that, you know it's cold out. That just looks so beautiful. Don't take off into the snow. I don't think Pluto likes this cold, cold weather anymore like she used to. She's showing her age, which I can't blame her. Moose, you're quiet this morning. 
Is it too cold to crow? Even though it's this cold out, they still laid us one egg so far. You are waiting for us over there this morning, Pluto. You didn't want to come out in the deep snow. Let's go in. I don't want that fire going out today. All right, put some drops in. That's pretty good. Should I mix it up? Nope, pour boiling water in it to mix it up. Don't spill it on anything. Okay. Ready to see if something happens? Yeah. It's 11 below out. Go for it. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, Let me see. Not cold enough. Close. It froze when it got to the ground. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to see if we can get colored vapors when it vaporizes in the air, huh? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. It's got to get colder. When you throw boiling water up in the air and it's cold enough, I think it's going to be like 20 below zero Fahrenheit out. It vaporizes in midair. So we're trying to see what happens if we have food coloring in the water. Are the vapors colorized? We just gotta wait for it to get a little bit colder. I guess we're a little anxious. <laughs> it's something fun to look forward to when it's this cold out. There's not too many things to do in these temperatures. Since it's so cold outside still today, we're gonna make some homemade crackers. That's what we made the cheese dip for yesterday. Yeah. If you didn't see the video of us making the cheese dip, I'll put a link to that video right here. We're gonna make two different recipes of homemade crackers. The first one is, calls for rosemary and sea salt. Let's grind up some rosemary. I think that'll be nice and fine. Yeah, perfect. I don't think it can get any finer. It smells good.
We have we have a pizza guy. Oh, I can't. Pizza pie is a dollar for the uh, butter, a butter knife. That thing's got some age to it. They say the most important part is putting holes in the crackers. That's a fine part. Some frustration. I'm not gonna say it's warm out, because it's about six degrees out, but it's a lot warmer than it was this morning. And the sun is out. I bet the goats would love to come out of the barn and warm up in the sun. You girls want to come out and do some sunbathing? Does that feel good? I'll entice you out with some hay. There you go. Go have some hay, Willow. Kinda noisy. Is that good? I bet those crackers are almost ready. They look pretty good. Ready to try them? Yeah. I want to try without. Without cheese first. I got a good crunch. Salty. 
Well, good, the cheese. This recipe is a little bit different. It calls for the food processor, butter, and some salt. Be curious to see what the different flavors are from the crackers. Never knew it was so easy to make crackers before. Yep. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be covered in flour. <laughs> that comes out everywhere. Oh, that's funny. Gotcha. It's not coming out the top, it's coming out the side. It's coming out the top. Yeah. Then what? Just wrap it? Just wrap it. Wrap it! How easy you think this is? No, they're all super easy. Okay. Reminds me of a pie crust, to be honest with you. Like the texture. Are you going to get some pie in it? No. Not today. Look at your fancy cracker making. Butter first, and I'll yeah. give out the other one. Good job. We'll let them cool off, and then we'll try them. Yeah, they look good. What are you making now? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Looks like something. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like we're getting low. Ready to go out, Pluto? Go ahead, get up there. I'll give you some more hay. Since it's so cold out. I want to make sure you stay warm. What are you doing over there? You playing on the wire spools? Tending your goat? That'd be pretty funny. Go this way. We're gonna go check on eggs. This way. I was like, I'm out of here. I'm going back to the house. Nobody wants to come out today. <laughs> ah, too funny. The chores are gonna get done, whether it's hot or cold, it don't matter. Oh man, I'll show you that in a second. Didn't collect these eggs soon enough. That one froze. Where is it? Where'd it go? Right there. That one froze and cracked. These three. These ones look good. Awesome. You girls making a nest already in there? <laughs> you want me to let you in? Now you think you want to go out? say as I blame Pluto for not wanting to stay out. I gotta get firewood though. What do you think you're doing in there mister? I need to get in there. I guess the good thing is I get to look forward to trying some crackers. Hey, I need to get where you are mister. I need that log. Watch out. Picking out which one you want to try. They look pretty. That one's mine. Oh. I'll go for that, this one. Oh, it has a lot of salt. Shake it off. Shake it off. Ready? Mm -hmm. Olivia loves salt. 
They get the texture of like a Ritz cracker. But they taste more like a Dump some that salt on I will. pastry. Not a cracker. Biscuity. Yeah, it's good like a, though. It's like a biscuit, not like <gasps> Chicken a and a biscuit. Chicken and a biscuit. That if you used chicken stock instead of water, this would taste like chicken and a biscuit, I bet mm -hmm. you. Yep. <laughs> Olivia loves salt. Too much salt. What did you girls make? A little bandana for Tanner. You made a bandana collar? Mm -hmm. Hopefully it fits. For Tanner? Cool beans. It can get a little bit bigger. Ooh. As he grows, you have to make him a new one. Right. Yeah. This is his first one. Nice. Pluto, you ready for a little brother? She's like, what? Huh? <laughs> I never would have thought making homemade crackers was that easy. Both the recipes we tried were good. They were both different. The first recipe we tried had a lot of rosemary flavor in it. So if you don't like rosemary, I do about half of a tablespoon. The second one, they are more like a biscuit. They were more crumbly like a pie crust, which makes sense because when we were making it, I was like, wow, this texture of this dough feels like a pie crust dough and the recipe is pretty close to the same. They were both really good. I'll leave the links in the description down below to the recipes. They're just ones I found online. But I would have never thought it was that easy to do something, to make crackers. It's just crazy. Just want to encourage you guys to get out and try something new. It's always fun when you try something new and it comes out better than you thought or something you never thought you could do before or never even thought about. There's just so many things out there that I'm sure we can do that just never came to, to our thoughts. So if you guys have fun, if you have something fun you'd like us to try, leave it in the comments down below. We're always looking for new things to try, especially indoor projects when it's been as cold as it has been lately here. Oh, it's just crazy. Well, thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're such a huge blessing to our family. I hope one way and another we can bless your family. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.